Hello, hello, and welcome to this game overview of Gathering of the Wicked, a Disney version of the classic party game Werewolves. If you're already familiar with the game Werewolves, then you know the premise. A narrator leads the players through a series of days and nights during which members of the village are slowly killed off by the werewolves secretly living amongst them. The villagers need to try to weed out the werewolves before it's too late, while the werewolves try to kill every last villager while remaining undetected. With this Disney version, instead of villagers, you all play as classic Disney villains. This game can be played with 6 to 12 people, ages 10 and up, but keep in mind that you need at least 7 people to effectively play the game, as one person needs to be the narrator. To set up the game, the narrator sets up the deck of mischief and mayhem alignment cards. Depending on the number of players, the number of each card will vary. After shuffling the deck, the narrator passes each person a card face down. It's crucial that each player's alignment remains a secret at this stage of the game. Team Mischief is the werewolf equivalent. They pick a player during the night to vanquish. Team Mayhem is the villager equivalent. They spend their night asleep and spend the day trying to figure out who they can trust and who they need to vanquish. Now all the players need to pick a character card. This cannot be done at random, as each villain card in play should also have their associated henchman card also in play. If someone wants to be the Queen of Hearts, someone else needs to be the King of Hearts, and so on. In the case of an odd-numbered group, the Sheer Khan card, which doesn't have a henchman, or the Lady Tremaine and two evil stepsister cards can be used to ensure that this rule can be adhered to. The game does come with a player aid card, which suggests which characters to use for any given number of players. The character cards are not hidden and are on display for all to see. This means their special abilities are also visible to all players. Some character cards also require a secondary card that accompanies their special ability. Prince John requires this crown, Shere Khan gets these claw marks, and Captain Hook needs this rope. Now it's time to play the game. If you've got a narrator who's never played the game before, the game does come with this initiation book, which is essentially a script for the narrator to follow that leads them to the motions of the game, as well as other helpful hints to avoid accidentally giving away information since the narrator will know everyone's alignment. Otherwise, there is a main rule book which provides a bit more of an open path for the narrator to narrate as they wish. There's a general format that all narrators must follow to maintain the flow of the game, and there is this handy reference card to keep them on track. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to keep things like pretty general, but know that depending on the characters in play and their special abilities, it's going to affect the order of play. Regardless, the first thing the narrator will do is call nighttime, and all the players close their eyes or go to sleep. Then, the narrator will ask that only Team Mischief wakes up. At this point, all players aligned with Team Mischief should open their eyes and look around the room and figure out who is on their team. Again, if you've played Werewolf before, these are the werewolves. Silently, Team Mischief chooses another player to be vanquished. Once they've decided, they close their eyes again. The narrator calls daytime and everyone wakes up. The narrator announces who has been vanquished and that person is out of the game. They can no longer communicate with others and they are allowed to be awake during the night to see how things play out. After finding out who is vanquished, the debate is on. Players must take a vote and decide who they think is one of Team Mischief's members. The key is that the Team Mischief's members do not reveal themselves, so they must be extra cunning to avoid making themselves seem suspicious while also not voting to vanquish one of their own team members. Once accusations have been made and debated, the narrator calls for a vote. Everyone gets one vote, and whoever has the most votes is out of the game. At this time, their alignment is revealed and shown if they were Team Mayhem succeeded in vanquishing a foe, or if Team Mayhem accidentally got rid of one of their own team members. Then, nighttime phase is initiated again. The game alternates between day and night until either Team Mischief is completely vanquished, or the number of Team Mischief members is equal or greater to the number of Team Mayhem members. Gathering of the Wicked is a great spin on the classic werewolf party game. While our box expert wasn't overly impressed with the size of the box, we still think that it deserves a place on your shelf. Check out the Comic Hunter or the Comic Hunter.net for all your gaming needs. Happy gaming!